<laughs> Thank you. Apparently, we don't have the wireless mic today. Oh, did I get stolen the wireless mic today? That's so hard to open. I got you. Hopefully. Ooh, it's icy. These are always Maybe not. How do you do that? Wow. Okay. Okay. Okay, we can start though. That was a fun one. Um, just proud of our group. I think we're learning how to win in so many different ways, whether we're down in you know, some part of the game or we're blowing somebody out or it's a tight game like that where every possession matters down the stretch. And I was happy to see defense kind of brought us over the hump there at the end. Uh, KD made some really good plays, but everybody locked into the defensive side. And that's something that we've been getting better and better at. So um, really proud of our group. I guess for, for Cam, that seven seconds left, you come up with the steal. Uh, that was a critical possession. Minnesota had the chance to go ahead there. What did you see, and and, and, and what, what kind of take me through that that sequence? Yeah, well, obviously, um, defensively, we'll always work on gaps, just making sure we're where we're supposed to be. So, um, she was on what the right, the left side of the court, I think. Yeah, and you know, I was supposed to be in my gap, so I was there, and I was like, oh, if I can get a hand on it, stop her, then boom, because I know she, the, that player on our scout, she really liked to get downhill for real and get some shots off and stuff. So I was like, all right, well, if I can get it, I can get it, and you know, made a play. Cam, if you could just talk about your game offensively, um, you know, just really picked up the team there in the third quarter at 10 points, I think, in there in the third um, when it got it got pretty tight there. Just talk about um, your ability to, to put the ball in the basket today. Well, yeah, I, I know, um, obviously, offensively, you know, I was getting good touches, but I mean, we got a lot. How many assists did we get today? 20. 20, 20 assists. Yeah. So I think just getting a lot of those dump downs, moving the ball was allowing me to get open. Um, you know, Sam was hitting shots, so that opened the floor for me a little bit more, too. Um, driving and kicking the ball. A lot of people were cr really crashing on Tay a lot. So, you know, there was a point in time where she was able to dump it down to me. Uh, I think Mir, did you? I think she dumped it down to a little bit. So just get, <laughs> moving the ball a lot um, and kind of getting those garbage points was really uh, beneficial. Coach, the defense th this, this afternoon, I mean, you look at that second quarter, that 18 nothing run you guys had, kind of spurred by defense. I don't know exactly how many turnovers they had, maybe nine uh, in that second quarter. Uh, but, but the way you scored off those turnovers, how, how would you kind of assess that and your overall defense today? I thought it was good. I mean, when you look at the stat sheet, you know, we, when I first look at it, you know, it's, we, gave, we gave up 70 points. That's kind of a lot of points. But if you were actually watching the game, we had key stops. We had runs that were predicated on how we were playing on the defensive side of the ball. So I thought it was really good. Um, you know, obviously, you're going to have some breakdowns. It's never going to be a perfect game. But we locked in, and we, we those runs helped us. You know, it's not just the plays at the end of the game. We went on a run in the first half, and we went on a run in the second half. So it was all because we got stops, rebounded, and was able to push, and then get into offense. So it's something that we just got to keep working at. I think we've come leaps and bounds since the beginning of the season, and it's so great we can learn lessons through wins. Yeah, kind of going off of that, that 18-0 run, erasing a 10-point deficit, kind of talk about how you guys responded and pretty much, I think, change the momentum of the game in, in that quarter? Yeah, I mean, I think early in the game, um, you know, they were letting us play a little bit. So the physicality of it, we had, we, had to, we had to bring that up, our toughness up a little bit. And when we did, we were getting 50-50 balls. We were snagging rebounds. Um, and we were pushing because of that. We were able to get our transition game going. Then the, then the crowd got into it. And that helped us get over the hump, too. So um, everything kind of starts with defense and rebounding for us. but. Um, that's where we get that's where we get our energy on the offensive end. And then when we start playing in transition, getting easy shots, seeing it go through the hoop, when we run our sets, then now we have more confidence because we've made some shots. Mir, if you could talk about uh, your rebounds today, career high 15, um, second double double of the season, a couple of those on the offensive end that turn into big baskets. Um, just just talk about your your day on the boards. Yeah, um, I'm coming off a of thumb surgery, so I'm still getting comfortable with my right hand again. Um, but I think that's just a testament to like mentality. Uh, we need a lot more rebounds than we do any other night. This is a big game for us, so I think that just pursuing the basketball was what, was what I was interested in tonight. And Coach, uh, I think all five of your starters had two steals, and you had at least two steals, and then two more girls off the bench with two steals. 
that's got to feel good um, to, to be able to, to come away with so many uh, and not just come away with them, but turn them into points on the other end too. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we had 16 steals. That's a lot. And we didn't even really press. We were just aggressive and understood the game plan and were able to kind of rattle them at, at times. Um, but 20 assists, you know, only 12 turnovers, forced them into 22 turnovers. Those stats are things that we celebrate. I know everybody looks at like points and things like that, but we want to we want to fill the stat sheet. So I was really happy to see that we did that. I, I, I would assume this was a physical. I mean, it looked like a physical game. How would, how would you guys kind of sum up the, the nature of this game, how Minnesota hung around and and how you guys were able to withstand that ultimately? Yeah, I mean, it was physical. Two power five teams going at it. You know, physical players. I mean, I'm sore from the game. I didn't even get No, I'm just kidding. But it was physical. It was physical. And, and that thing is, like, we're a physical team, you know. So we kind of thrive in those environments, to be honest, because it just raises our level of, like, aggressiveness and, um, you know, intensity and all that. So that's what happened. And I think that's what, you know, started that run that we were having. We just got tougher. We were able to get stops, rebound, and then we started pushing. Cam and Mir, can you both answer that too, since uh, you were the ones having to deal with the physical? No, yeah, for sure. Um, I, I dealt with it too. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we obviously knew what type of per every game has a different personality, so we kind of knew, okay, this is going to be a physical one, so we just got to up our toughness, like Coach said. Um, and I think just, you know, grabbing rebounds, making sure we got, they're a really scrappy team, you know, hands are everywhere, so just making sure we're locked in. It was very, um, it was an emphasis for our post to make sure we keep the ball up, make sure we're strong with it going up, because they weren't really calling fouls for us, like, the first time I got to the free throw line was at the end of the game, so, um, but, it, you know, we just we just knew to be tough, lock in on defense, um, just making sure we're aggressive um, and intense pretty much for the whole game. Yeah, and I think that just shows, like, who we can be and who we are as a team right now, like, I think we showed, like, a lot of composure in that game. Um, a lot of calls didn't go our way. Some did, some didn't. So I think that we grew as a team uh, just with our composure and just everything that happened. Coach, you struggled a bit from downtown early on. Um, got some uh, three big threes from Sam there in the fourth quarter. Um, and I guess that, I think it was about a two possession game at that point, um, six minutes and a half, something like that. I just talk about how big those threes were, if you could. Uh, those were huge because then it got them out of the paint. You know, now they had to guard her so we could get, you know, touches inside with Cam, Mir, London when she came in, even just getting touches off of drives. I think Tay got to the rim a little bit. So those were big. I mean, we, we, we're a better shooting team than we're displaying right now. But again, it's just been a lot of quick turnarounds with games and not a lot of practice working on ourselves and things like that. So I would rather, you know, them be mentally and physically fresh for the games and just, you know, continue to work on our mental prep. And then we have time in December, we'll, we'll continue to get better. But I know I, I'm not too concerned about it because I, I see kids make shots all the time. And I know, you know, what we have, it'll translate. Coach, 7-0, uh, and oh, best start in 30 years here. What do you attribute to, to your success? And how could you have ever imagined that your start here at Virginia would have gone this well? Um, 30 years, wow. Um, that, that's that's <laughs> I didn't know that actually, and just because there's been so many great teams here, um, it's definitely a blessing. I don't take anything for granted. Uh, just grateful to be here and be with these players and staff. I really love them, and I just I think that um, just what we do off the court and the way that we connect and continue to work on our camaraderie and synergy um, and just family environment is translating to what we do on the court. So um, just the cult culture culture. Culture wins. No, uh, the culture that we've been <laughs> been trying to instill and have instilled, I think, is helping us, you know, in games also when we need to get over the hump. But again, it's also a credit to the players. We have a lot of talent here. They had to buy in to my system, style of play, all that stuff, which they did. Um, and I just wanted to help them, empower them to be confident and use their versatility. You know, I don't want anybody to be like put into a box, you can only post up or you can only shoot, you can only, and that's why you see our players doing a lot of things. And once we get more comfortable and we practice more, it will translate better into the game. But I want them to play with a little bit of freedom um, and just be able to showcase everything they have. Great. I mean, we just talked about it. I think, um, and buying in, like Coach is saying, the team, we've been working since we got here and reported in, uh, into June. So everybody's been, you know, buying in. We were all coming in ready to play. Like, 
um, and just ready to learn. Obviously, we know it's a new system, so we were open to making mistakes, but we know we can capitalize on those mistakes too and strengthen our weaknesses and um, capitalize on our strengths too. So I think just buying in into everything that coach is telling us. Um, you know, they're great coaches. They come – um, from great backgrounds, they won. So we were like, all right, bet. Like, you know, <laughs> let's, get, let's get it then. And that's, we were very hungry for that. So everybody was buying in. Um, and, you know, we were just ready to work. Mary, you want to talk about that too? I mean, Cam took the words right out of my sorry. mouth, honestly. <laughs> uh, yeah, just buying in and just listening to Coach Mock. She's been great. So it wasn't really hard for us to do that. Great. Thank you, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, like icing, right? Yeah. Awesome. Love it here.